Universities aren't just about silly hats. They're also a place where people can open their minds and learn life-changing skills. Universities train our doctors and nurses, our business leaders and public servants. They research problems like finding cures for diseases or understanding our rich Indigenous history. Yet when COVID hit, the Morrison government showed what it really thought of universities. The border closure cost universities billions, yet the government didn't do enough to help. The Liberals changed the JobKeeper rules three times to stop universities getting JobKeeper. Well, not all universities. A few private universities were eligible, with New York University's Sydney campus and Bond University picking up JobKeeper support. But for our public universities, it's been the worst era in decades. The Australian National University and Curtin University have lost more than one in 10 staff. They've been literally decimated. One international expert says the Morrison government is the most anti-university government in the OECD, with the possible exception of Hungary. The Liberals have never liked tertiary education, but they're playing with our future. They're even vetoing research grants they don't like, killing projects on climate change and Shakespeare. Morrison government's culture wars are damaging our universities and they're costing our country. Join us in the fight against inequality. Authorised by Andrew Lee, ALP, Gungahlin Place, Gungahlin.